Do you like to save money? Dumb question, right? You certainly work your everything off for your money, so you want to keep as much of it as you can in the end. But exactly how do you do that? Well, in this video, I'll tell you about 15 money-saving hacks that can help you save a lot, allowing you to pad your bank account with hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to another episode. Here we are passionate about feeding your mind with insights that change your life, talk about creating sustainable wealth, and other essential financial matters that you did not learn in school. If you are into this type of content and want financial freedom, please subscribe to the channel, like, and share. You are also welcome to comment down below with your experiences and suggestions. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you can know each time I upload a new video. Let's get straight to the point with our money-saving hacks. Number one, set a budget. Budgeting is one of those sure hacks for saving a lot of money in life. To get started, you need to find a tool that works for you. For example, the good old spreadsheet. If you're not one for spreadsheets and inputting numbers, there are plenty of applications that can come in handy. These solutions are designed to do all the hard work for you. No cumbersome receipts, no complex math formulas, and so on. All you have to do is simply keep tabs on your spending at the touch of a button. Sound great? Well, the real money-saving hack here is that most of these apps are free. Some great examples you can consider are Mint if you are in the US and Wave apps everywhere else. Number two, couponing. There are two types of people when it comes to coupons. The first type says coupons aren't worth the time you spend cutting them, and the second swears that coupons are always worth it because they save you money. Which type of person are you? No matter where you fall, there's a third group you need to know about called the savvy couponers. Essentially, this crowd consists of the people who are more strategic with coupons, and this is the group you want to be in. As a savvy couponer, it may not be practical for you to spend hours each week cutting coupons. Even so, it would be best if you were always on the prowl for coupons that save you a lot of money. This means that you should check out popular services like Groupon or Living Social from time to time to find some coupons whenever you want to spend the money. At the end of the day, your coupon search stint could see you save a significant chunk of money, especially on services like an oil change for your car or a massage. Number three, shift from branded to unbranded items. What's in a name? Apparently a lot. See, I bet you often opt for particular brands when shopping simply because of the name on the package and the reputation that comes along with it, thanks to clever advertising. As such, when it comes to, say, paper towels, you'll probably go for Bounty because they are the quicker picker-upper and Frosted Flakes because they're great. However, you might not know that most of the time next to such items, you can often find comparable store brand versions that cost less. We often refer to these as generic products, and sometimes these competing products are made in the same manufacturing facilities and have little to no noticeable differences. So if you want to save yourself some money the next time you go shopping, be sure to give some of these items a try. Often, they'll get the job done at a way lower price. Number four, downsize your home. Downsizing to a smaller home means less upkeep, lower bills, and more time to do the things you love. It's simply an exercise in saving both money and time. Thinking of doing this? I have just the right tip for you. Be sure to consult an experienced real estate agent to get information on what your home is worth and how to cut down on costs before getting started. Number five, buy a cheap, reliable car. Let's face it, we all love new cars, even though not everything about them is excellent. Not to get it twisted, purchasing a new ride is terrific if you can afford one. Why? Well, you won't worry about major repair costs for at least three to five years. You'll look neat on the road, and you'll enjoy that pleasant new car smell. However, keeping a new car in mint condition requires a lot of financial effort. Apart from the huge buying price, you'll have to pay for comprehensive insurance and accommodate the depreciation. After all, right from when you drive away from the dealership in your new car, its value drops by at least 
What's more, it keeps depreciating by between 15% to 20% each year after that. Fortunately, you can save a lot of money in upfront purchase fees and depreciation costs by buying a cheap car. You also want to go for reliability to save on maintenance and repair costs. Number six, cancel Netflix. Light note alert. I know you see what I did there, right? Last year, Netflix announced it was hiking the price of its standard plan to $14 per month. The price has increased by 40% in five years alone, seeing as in 2016, a standard plan was just $10 per month. Now, I want you to ask yourself these three questions. Are you ready to spend even more? Are you getting 40% more value than you were five years ago? Do you want to save more money? If your answer is no to the first two questions and a yes for the last one, you need to consider canceling your subscription to the streaming service. Of course, as mentioned earlier, do it if you are not getting any value for your money. Number seven, use the Honey extension. The Honey extension is essentially a free browser extension that takes the work out of finding coupon codes. Currently, the Honey app works with more than 30,000 merchants and it promises an average discount of 17.92%. As a user, you can score an average annual savings of $126. And since this app is free, there's no investment required from you. The best part? Honey's smart shopping assistant will find the best coupon codes for the retailer you're shopping with and automatically apply the discount on your behalf. Number eight, have a drink before a night out. Do you often look at your bank balance and curse at your drunken spending? You're not alone. Event goers spend a significant chunk of their disposable income on partying. According to Eventbrite, the average event goer parts with around $81 a night twice a week. Of course, a good chunk of this money goes to food and drinks. If you go out on the weekends, a good habit you can implement to save you tons of money in the long run is pre-drinking. Buy a drink at the store, which is always much cheaper than the club, and just take enough to make you a little tipsy before you head out. It would also be a great idea to eat well at home to cut down on that food bill. Number nine, buy older smartphone versions. The newest iPhone is definitely sleek and tempting, but also comes with a high price tag. And guess what? Apple will release a new version next year and another the year after that. The same goes for other smartphone brands. Buying the newest and shiniest phone is sure to dent your pocket. And phones, like cars, depreciate in value from the moment you start using them. Save yourself some bucks and the pressure of keeping up with the latest trend by buying older or even refurbished phones, at least until you have enough money not to feel the pinch. Number 10, negotiate prices whenever you can. If you're looking to up your savings at the end of the month, start negotiating discounts for products and services you're buying every chance you get. In most cases, sellers already account for discounts when making their initial offer. Remember, even though saving 5% on something that costs, say, 20 bucks, might not seem like much now. The savings add up in a month and year. Number 11, hunt for bargains and sales when shopping. The tip is especially useful when you're shopping for your weekly groceries, clothes, or other essentials. Become a bargain hunter and you can be sure that you're getting value for your money. If you're in the supermarket, first pass by the sale or offers aisle and check if there are items on your list that are on offer. However, have a list beforehand and stay focused, as items on sale can be rather tempting, which means you might find yourself buying things you really don't need. Number 12, go for secondhand books or rentals. It's no lie that secondhand books are cheaper than newly printed copies. But how cheap? Well, you can save 50% or more by buying a secondhand book. That translates to a lot of money for a student or just someone who likes to read a lot. The good thing is that once you're done with the book, you can put it up for sale online and recoup some of your money. The other options for saving money on books are going for rentals instead of purchases and signing up for online ebook platforms. Number 13, take advantage of cashback websites. If it's the first time you're hearing about cashback sites, 
They are basically online reward platforms that give their members a small percentage of the money they spent on shopping on affiliate stores back. So you basically shop with a retailer through a link on the cashback site instead of going directly to the retailer. In return, you get some of the money you pay for your items back. Here, I'd like to advise that you vet the cashback site you go with, as these days there are scam websites that pose as cashback sites. Number 14. Invest in your own gym equipment to work out at home. If you like to stay fit and active, you probably pay a couple of dollars for your gym membership every month, and that's okay. It's a small price to pay for your health. However, if you're looking to squeeze your budget and save more, you can ditch the gym for home workouts and slowly invest in your own equipment. Once you've bought everything you need, you'll be spending zero to stay fit. Number 15. Earn and redeem credit card points. Without discipline, credit cards can have you paying off massive debts. However, using your credit card strategically and wisely when making payments allows you to take advantage of redeemable points, cash back, and other perks that help you save money. Keep an eye out for things that earn you the most points and charge them to your card. Just remember to charge only what you can afford and settle your balance in full on time. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. I regularly upload practical tips on personal finance, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell to avoid missing out. If you have anything that you'd like to add to today's topic, drop a comment below and let's keep the discussion going. With that, I've reached the end of the video. Until next time, bye!